Rescue workers search the rubble of a bombed housing compound in the Saudi capital, Riyadh. At least five are killed, around 100 injured in the attack, mostly Arabs. Polls close in Japan's general election. It looks like a low turnout. And in an interview with BBC World, the Sri Lankan president denies her recent actions have put the peace process at risk. Hello, this is BBC World News. I'm Adrian Finnegan. You join us as we prepare to cross to central London to observe a two-minute silence as part of Remembrance Sunday, the second Sunday of November, when Britain remembers those who've given their lives in military conflict. Thousands of veterans have joined the Queen, members of the royal family and senior politicians for the annual ceremony. The silence begins at 1100 hours GMT in just a minute or so at this precise time. This is BBC World. Let me remind you now of the main news stories. A suicide car bomber has struck in Saudi Arabia. Many are feared dead in the attack on a residential area close to the capital, Riyadh. And exit poll results in Japan show that the governing LDP-led coalition of Prime Minister Junichiro Koizumi is likely to retain its majority in the lower house of parliament. Well, let's go live now to Tokyo. Our correspondent Jonathan Head is, uh, is there. Jonathan, are the exit polls saying more or less the same thing? This is BBC World. Well, France are through to the semi-finals of the Rugby Union World Cup, a game that many believed would be a close affair, but an incredible... And before we go, the main news again. Rescue workers in Saudi Arabia are hunting for any survivors in the wreckage of a residential compound after a suicide bombing in the capital, Riyadh. A Saudi official said at least five people were killed and around 100 wounded, but it's feared the death toll may rise much further. And that's all from the BBC World Newsroom for the moment. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.